Let's go. All right. I'm Coin Ring Maker. I make coins into rings. Today I'm going to be working on this 1949 90% silver quarter. I am just going to wait a little bit for a couple more people to hop in here. Uh, while we wait, if y'all wouldn't mind tapping the screen a little bit, that would be super. Um, during this live, if at any point you uh, want to check out some of my work, there's a gold chain at the bottom of the screen you can tap on. You can also shop through the website linked on my TikTok profile. But we're going to go ahead and get started. I think it's going to be pretty cool. It's going to be a size 8.5 ring. We're going to make it out of this... 1949 quarter first thing we gotta do is punch a hole in it we're gonna get our little stamping block here and our center punch guide and just tighten that down if anybody has any questions while i'm working on this feel free to ask got a little bit of paper stuck in there there we go thanks for following mystic biscuit username mystic biscuit rolls right off the tongue there we go so yeah we're just gonna punch a hole right through this thing uh, if you guys haven't followed me yet go ahead and hit that follow button if you'd like um, something kind of cool uh, on my website coinringmaker.com there's a new button up at the top that'll give you a $15 credit for the whatnot app whatnot is kind of a live auction app i've been trying out lots of cool stuff for sale on there uh, there's not a whole lot of work on your end to do it uh, you just go there tap the button sign up get 15 dollar credit it's a pretty good deal all right we're going to go ahead and punch through this right here there we go it's our nice center punch Let's check out our coin. Got 130 likes so far. If you guys wouldn't mind tapping the screen a little bit, I sure would appreciate it. There is our quarter. Just going to knock it off the punch real quick. Perfect. So yeah, you want to make sure you get a nice centered hole in there. It looks like we've got a pretty good one. But uh, when you punch a hole in it, it does leave kind of a rough edge on the inside there. So I'm going to clean that up next. Use my deburring tool, and we'll just clean that up. And again, if anybody wants to check out my shop, you can tap the gold chain at the bottom of the screen or the website linked on my TikTok profile. If anybody has any questions while I work, feel free to leave them in the comments. And uh, make sure to take advantage of that $15 whatnot credit. It's a button right at the top of my website, corneringmaker.com. Tap on that. It says whatnot, $15 credit. It's a pretty good deal. Almost done with the slow boring part. After this, we're going to anneal it. It's going to soften up the silver, keep it from being too brittle, make it easier to bend in shape. For that process, we're going to heat it up with some fire and then quench it in some water. There we go. We got it nice and smooth and shiny in there now. Let's heat it up. One thousand three hundred likes. Thank you guys very much for tapping the screen. I really do appreciate it. I went all kinds of different colors.
Thank you for following, Dustin. Here is our quarter so far. We're going to hop over to the one-ton arbor press and start folding it. This is my one-ton arbor press, by the way. It's a pretty great tool. Glad I got one. So I've used the crap out of it. Okay. We're just going to grab our handy doming block. We want to put the side of the coin we want facing out on the ring, face down. Just like that. Thank you very much, Corn Hub. How are you doing today? So this guy right here has taught me an awful lot about whatnot. And I really do appreciate it. I was a bit lost when I first started. I'm doing good. It's a little, little cloudy outside today, so I'm trying to stay inside, get some white light on myself, and keep from getting too depressed because that weather will get to you. Give that a nice second fold there. there we go. And you got to be really careful with these Washington quarters. Usually I would take this and go put it right on the ring stretcher, but they like to get really wobbly so we have to do some top secret stretching method to get it a little bit and i'm going to share that with you guys so the first step is to sand this cut edge we want to make sure that's nice and smooth so we get a little more fall block here The reason we sand this down is if there's any micro cracks or splits, as we start to stretch it, those will just get bigger. And if you don't address them, they'll eventually split the whole coin, and that's bad news. So we really want to keep this nice and smooth. This is just a nail file block you might pick up at Walmart. I really like them. Let's see how it's looking. Looks pretty smooth. So yeah, because of the different levels of detail, especially like around his neck where it first starts, see how the metal is much higher than the part next to it or even at the top of his head. It's just much thicker at different points, and it's the same on the tail side too. There's just thick points and thin points. And if you stretch this normally on a ring stretcher, the thin points stretch a little faster than the thick points. So I devised this technique where you take a really small reduction die, you put the ring on top of that, and then we get a folding cone, and we put that inside of the ring like this. And because it's braced against the folding die at the bottom, it folds much more evenly this way. So we'll try and get in real close here. This is gonna help us stretch it out. Done quite a bit of work on this ring already, so I'm going to go re anneal it, soften it up a bit, and then we'll stretch it out some more. Thanks a lot, man. I've been seeing you uh, checking out my stuff lately, so I do appreciate all the likes and kind words, dude. But yeah, these Washington quarters can be a little tricky. I really like the state quarters. They just, uh, they work so much better. You're funny. No, it's totally legal. Uh, it's very similar to penny smashing machines you might find at an amusement park. Uh, Six Flags, SeaWorld, stuff like that. So as long as I'm not fraudulently altering the currency, 
it's totally, it's totally legal. Yeah, but for anybody who doesn't, some people are a little shy to ask. Uh, if anybody would like to get a coin ring made by me, you can visit coinringmaker.com. It's linked on my TikTok profile. You can also check out my shop by tapping the gold chain at the bottom of the screen down here. I feel like it's a pretty handy little thing to have, but not a lot of people understand what it does. So if y'all want to test that out real quick, you can just tap that gold chain at the bottom of the screen. It's pretty cool. That's true. Uh, almost all of my orders are made on TikTok Live. I got this order yesterday, and here we are working on it. There we go. Now we got that stretched out, and it's so much more even. Usually you'll develop kind of a dip around the date as well if you go right to the ring stretcher. Now we're going to do some light stretching on here just to get it one above our target size. This one's going to be an eight and a half, so we're going to stretch it to an, at least a nine and a half is the goal. see where we're at no reason to overdo it there we go right at nine and a half perfect yes welcome is still valid so you guys can uh save 10 percent off your order if you use the coupon code welcome uh, can I size up stainless steel? I don't really work on steel uh, because most of my tools are made out of steel and you want the thing you're working on to be softer than your tools. So if I, if I was using steel on my tools, it would tear them up. So I don't really mess with steel too much. I'm sorry about that. I've gotta protect the tools. Yep, one ton arbor press right here. doing here is just reducing this back down to our target size. This is also kind of shaping the ring a bit. So that's why I stretch one size over is so we can get a more even ring band. Want a ring size tool? I do have a recommended tool list on my website, corneringmaker.com, if, if you're seriously looking to get into cornering making. It was definitely tricky to track down my collection of tools, so if, if you're going to take advantage of that reference, it's pretty handy. It's got all the links for where to get them, as well as videos on how to use them. I wish I was able to find something like that when I first started. So if anybody wants to get into coin ring making, check that out. It'll be at coinringmaker.com. There'll be a button there that just says recommended tools. And you can go from there. I'm just trying to get this. What is the coin? It is a 1949 quarter. This is 90% silver coin. Making it into a size eight and a half. Range. Now, if you'd like to see more of my work, please visit my website, coinringmaker.com. Or tap the gold chain at the bottom of the screen. And uh, if you've got a free minute and want to help me out, and also want to get $15 credit, of a cool auction app. I have a new button on my website that says whatnot $15 credit. It's right up at the top. Just go to corneringmaker.com and tap that button. Sign up for whatnot. Now it'll give you a $15 credit off your first purchase. Uh, it really helps me out and you could get something cool. So Got a question about Morgans. Do I make rings out of others, i.e. Morgans? Yes, uh, I do quarters, half dollars, 
dollars, one ounce silver rounds, I've done Morgan's, Peace Dollars, Walking Liberty, Franklin, Kennedy. I, I have lots to choose from. And you can find those all at coinringmaker.com. Just doing some sizing on this one. Trying to get it right at an eight and a half. So I do kind of have to go back and forth from stretching and reducing. But get it right there. But it should be pretty close. There we go. Right at eight and a half. That's perfect. Now this is my favorite part, guys. Make sure to hit the follow button if you want to see more coin ring making stuff. This is the part where we take the coin ring and make it shiny again. It's my favorite part. So we're going to get our little scrap of steel wool. There's not a whole lot left to this, but we'll get some work out of it. And what's on the coin right now is called fire scale. So when we heat this up with the torch, it leaves kind of a this dark toning and we're just going to knock that off this is super fine steel wool so four zero steel wool you don't want to get the basic normal steel wool it'll leave scratches all over your rings make sure to get four zero if if this is something you want to do but look at how quick that starts to shine back up the silver it's it's amazing we're going to get this thing nice and shiny uh, if you would like to place an order and see your coin ring made on this live, I have an open slot. So the first order that comes in will be made on this live. Uh, if anybody has any questions, feel free to ask. And I'm just going to finish cleaning this up here, getting it nice and shiny. Do the inside now. Thank you guys for following. Steve Little, Alex, Bronx... And Tracy, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Oh, that's true. I try to keep as much coin or as much detail on the coin as I can. So you can see on the inside, it still says United States of America, e pluribus, and quarter dollar. We got the year on the front. A bit of In God We Trust. It kind of cuts off a little bit of it. And Liberty on the top. And I've got uh, all 50 state quarters in copper clad and 90% silver. So if you want to get a specific state, we can do that. I also have a pretty wide, wide range of dates. Uh, the biggest I can do quarters is uh, with the 90% silver, it's a size 12. With the copper clad, I can get them up to 13. Copper just stretches a little better. Now we'll get a little bit of a polishing cloth here. Shine it up. Thank you guys very much. I think this one came out very nice. So 90% uh, silver quarters are 100. And I've got two styles of these. I've got the uh, pre-1965, so 1964 and earlier. And then I have the uh, state quarter series as well in 90% silver. Go get you one. They're pretty cool. Definitely a conversation piece. You'll have people asking you, what in the heck? Where did you get that thing? You can tell them coinringmaker.com made it for me. 
with his bare hands out of a coin. And it's beautiful. So I've been doing this for about three and a half years now, so I've got pretty good practice at it. I really, really enjoy making these. And I'm glad you were able to join me as I worked on it. Looks good. All right, so um, at this point, I'll take one final close look at it. I'm going to throw this in the tumbler. That's going to help clean it up a little bit more. And while I do that, I do ask that y'all go check out my website. You can tap the gold chain at the bottom of the screen or the link on my profile. If you're not really interested in getting a coin ring, there is a button on there that will give you a $15 credit for Whatnot, which is a live auction app. There's lots of cool collectibles on there. Uh, but just it's a really cool app so uh, <laughs> if if you could do me a favor and uh just sign up for that get your $15 credit that would be super cool uh, if you want to go check out the website and maybe find a ring for yourself now's a good time to do it we're going to throw this in the tumbler should take about you know 2 or 3 minutes to clean up i love to hear it love to hear it Yeah, it's really cool to know that, like, hundreds of people wear my jewelry daily. I, I absolutely love it. But wedding bands are my favorite. Those, I know those are going to be really appreciated. Those, those have special meaning. And if anybody's wondering, this is... The tumbler it's in, it's just spinning around with soap and water and these little BBs. It's gonna help clean it up. It's just noisy, so I try not to film it. <coughs> but yeah, uh, take two minutes, go check out cornerringmaker.com, uh, sign up for whatnot, you get a $15 credit, there's a button right up at the top of the website. Go to the store, click around, check it out. Sounds good, man. Yeah, this one is actually for Eric right here. We just finished uh, his first of, it looks like, five coin rings. That's awesome. Awesome. I'm glad you were able to make it in here. If anybody has any questions, feel free to put them in the chat. We're just tumbling a coin ring right now. Uh, so take a couple minutes, go visit the website, and we'll we'll get back to the action here in just a second. Thank you, thank you very much. Also hit that follow button, you know? Give me a follow, that's always good. We got 5,400 likes on this. Uh, I can show you a whole bunch. Let's, let's bring up the whole block here. My fancy display case. Here we go. So this is what a one ounce fine silver round comes out looking like. This one says, don't tread on me. It's got a cool little rattlesnake. You got his uh, rattle back here. I'm doing good. I'm having a good morning. So these are really beefy. My wife calls them biker rings. They got some good weight to them. 90% silver. Bunch of different designs to choose from. We'll just, we'll just pick through some of these. This one is a silver American Eagle. I've got quite a few years available in this coin. Get all that detail on the inside and out. Let's see here. And we've got some smaller stuff. This one is a quarter ounce fine silver Aztec round. It's super detailed. It's a really, really cool coin. Now these are $100 if anyone's interested. I've got a couple of those. This is a uh, another quarter ounce. This one says freedom. Or it says strength, freedom, 
and pride on it. It's got these eagle wings and talons all around it. Really, really cool coin. And this is a quarter ounce, stretched out as far as I could get it. So this one is probably size 12. Pretty good. Pretty good size. And this one here is a, um, a half ounce fine silver round. This is an imitation wheat penny from 1909. It's an S mint mark. You can see on the inside you've got that wheat. Pretty, pretty cool little silver coin ring there. Here's an example of what a, uh, a finished 90% silver quarter looks like. Okay, can you tell me what you ordered so we can we can work on it? This one right here is a 2022 Cougarant fine silver one ounce round from South Africa. Eight slash five half. Um, 66 size six. Okay, we can get that going for you. Uh, I have a wide range of sizes. I, I make the rings myself, so I will make it to fit your finger when you order. Uh, there's lots of designs to choose from. If you guys want to check them out, you can tap the gold chain at the bottom of the screen or the website linked on my profile up here. I'm going to go ahead and grab that 66 and we'll get started on it for you. Thank you for your order, by the way. This is a 1966 quarter. We're about to make it into a ring, a size six. Let's go. Shout out to my mod, Papa Savage Cancer. Doing such a good job. Appreciate it, man. quarter with a hole punched in it and we're going to clean up that inside edge right there it's pretty rough use the burn tool and then just cut away and smooth it out <laughs> nice, I'll have to get you something for your anniversary. You've more than earned it.
Well, you're good at it. I'll keep you around, I'll tell you that much. Alright, so here's our quarter so far. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a fold on the filming block. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Go to our second fold here. Pop it in our 17 degree reduction die. And let me see, there it is with the softer cone. <laughs> I believe it. And that guy is on here all the time. A hard working man. I'm going to clean up the uh, cut edge real quick. Sand that down. Hey, Splash, check it out. <laughs> hey, there's that Navarro guy you were talking about. <laughs> I got all the cool stickers. I'm happy to. I really enjoy making jewelry live for people. So if anybody else wants to get a coin ring, head over to coinringmaker.com. And I'll get to work on it for you. Looking pretty good. Sounds like you're gonna get one now, bud. Sounds like you're gonna get your sticker. Flash has some cool stickers too, man. I really like them. Good design. Like they feel, I don't know. Like they've got a nice feel to them. They have a nice texture. The tumbler has stopped tumbling. Stretched out a bit now. Now we're gonna make it itty bitty. This one's gonna be a size six. <laughs> it's just a little below a size 10 right now, so we gotta go down about four sizes. Yeah, there's a major difference between your stickers and sticker mule. I'll I'll give you that. It's high quality right there. I only use Sticker Mule if they have a good deal. Like their normal prices are a little much for me. But if I can catch a good deal on Sticker Mule, I'll go for it. But just a little rant about Sticker Mule, right? So they had these on sale. These are three inch holographic stickers. They're really cool. My biggest complaint with Sticker Mule is the back. It's so hard to get the back off of this sticker. Now you compare that to this sticker, which I send out with all my orders for free. Look at the back of this. It's got, it's got cut perforated like paper. So it's really easy to get rid of that back. I love it, I love that. Like, just that little feature on the sticker makes it a thousand times better. 
so I don't have to mess up the sticker to remove the back of it. I don't know. There's my rant of the day with Sticker Mule. Like, why can't y'all make it easy to remove the sticker from the paper? Not everybody out here can do that. <laughs> Terry summons Splash's wallet. Splash's wallet? <laughs> Splash has... Oh, you carry some of Splash's in your wallet. I can't read. I was like, Splash has a wallet? That's hilarious. Nope. I just can't read. I got it down just above a size 8. We're getting there. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Right? I mean, with all that sweet cash Splash is making from painting all the time need to make a 2023 calendar and send it to all my best customers interesting never considered making a, a branded calendar uh, that could be kind of cool put like different coin rings for each month you think Right at a size six. That's perfect. That's interesting. Um, hmm. Hmm. You can design it for me. About to order splashes tonight with her friends. Splash is going to have a calendar. No, I think that's a great idea. Like, the more I think about it, I'm like, that would be kind of badass. Uh, 74 and 86, I've got them. That's pretty cool. Yeah, Splash, I'll, I'll chat with you about that later. Because I, I don't, I have no idea how to put a calendar together. But I'm definitely interested. And if you have some experience with it, I'd, I'd love to let, you know, learn a little bit. I'll help you with your website. You help me with my calendar. Is that a deal? If you want for both. So, um, copper clad quarters run for 25. So, it would be 50 for two. Yep, that's a good deal right there. January junk silver. February Franklin. Ooh, Franklin's are rough. But, yeah, we could do that. That's a good idea. It just blew on your screen. <laughs> Get that off of there. <sighs> yeah, no problem. Uh, you can use the coupon code WELCOME to save 10%. Uh, just for a little thank you for joining me here on my live. Polish it up a little bit, but that puppy's looking good. March for Mercury Dimes. I like that. I like that. Do I do dollar or do I do Morgan dollar rings? Absolutely. Uh, unfortunately, the only one I have I can show you uh, isn't what they tend to come out looking like. So this one. I did a, a different punch size on it, so the band would be thinner. And I gold plated it to test how well the plating would stay on. So this is kind of an experimental one. You can see better pictures on my website, coinringmaker.com. They'll be under coin rings, 90% silver, and then dollars. And you can find the, the Morgan dollars there. But they come, they're one of my favorite rings to make. 
I wish I had another one to show you. I just need, I need to make a demo one. But this one was kind of an experiment. What's really interesting with this is the gold plating stayed on the inside of the ring. But it came off on the outside. So I wore this for about two weeks to test it. And decided to take the gold plating off as an option because it doesn't really stay on there very well. But yeah, uh, they are on the website, corneringmaker.com. You might be able to find them through the gold chain at the bottom of the screen, too. But yeah, they, they're prettier than that. Like, if you think that looks good, they're prettier than that. They come out really nice. Especially if you do them tail side out. You get the In God We Trust between the eagle's wings. Ah, chef's kiss. My favorite. I got to make four of them last month. It was awesome. But they're all gone. Because I had to ship them out to customers. So I can't show you how they look. You might be able to go to my TikTok profile and scroll back a couple videos and see them there. But there is our finished 1966 quarter. And it looks like our other one is done tumbling. So we'll go pull that out. Of the tumbler here. The Morvan, the Morgan dollars are two hundred. Go fishing in the bubbles. Where are you? There it is. Look at that. Oh, I dropped it. <laughs> it's a little slippery. I'm also right-handed, but I don't want to get bubbles all over my right hand. Oh, man. Thing disappeared. There it is. There it is. So shiny. Do, do, do. Close that back up. Bubbles. Bubbles, bubbles everywhere. There we go. What do you guys think of my carpet? It's pretty cool, right? <laughs> All right, check this out. This thing is going to be stunning. Nothing much better than fine silver coming right out of a tumbler. It's gorgeous. Do a little final polish on this sucker and it'll be good to go. Uh, if anybody would like to order a coin ring and see it made on this live, head over to coinringmaker.com, pick the one you want, use the coupon code WELCOME to save 10%. And uh, go get on it. So I'm all finished with this one. And I'd be happy to make somebody else a ring if they're interested. Uh, if anybody has any questions, feel free to put them in the chat. If you guys have a free minute and don't want to get a coin ring, uh, I would like to direct you to a new button on my website, cornerringmaker.com. Right at the top, it says, What Not $15 Credit. Whatnot is a live auction app. Uh, there's lots of different stuff on there. You can buy coins, comic books, trading cards, retro stuff. Lots to choose from. And uh, if you just go to my website, tap on that button, sign up. It'll give you a $15 credit off your first purchase. I'm pretty new on there. So you might catch me doing a live auction if you decide to go follow me. But just signing up through that link helps me up a whole bunch. And uh, I sure would appreciate it. It's right at the top of my website, cornerringmaker.com. And if you have any questions about that, let me know. Any questions at all. Kind of ran out of breath on that one. <laughs> it's very pretty. Yeah, this came out very nice. A 
little small for my taste. Might be a might be a pinky ring, but I mean these look really good. And you can put them with the date facing out. You can also reverse them. Have liberty on the top. Really, really nice rings. Yeah, I could do specific ears. Uh, this customer specifically asked for a 49. I could do a 48, no problem. Mm -hmm. You can see me. Let's see if I can wave. Hi. You see my waving hand? Yeah, that's a good polish right there. So much for hiding my face for three years. <laughs> And again, uh, really, if you have any questions, put them in the chat. Don't be shy. I'm very open about my process and what I do. And honestly, I love answering questions. So if you've got one you're holding on to, let it out. Ask away. And I'm going to direct you guys to the website one more time to click on that whatnot button. You have $15 credit off your first purchase. It is like... 15 free dollars, pretty much. All you gotta do is tap the button and sign up. Pretty, pretty easy. Pretty good deal. And if all of you did it, I mean, 300 of you went and signed up for whatnot, that company would be like, dude, you are the best. Because I have been with them for about a week. And if I can outperform... <laughs> Like other uh, influencers, I guess. Like I could, I could really catch their attention, you know. What's really cool is they they put me on their Instagram page, so if you go check out whatnot on Instagram, you might see my logo there. You know, it's pretty cool. But yeah, get that fifteen dollar credit. Tap the uh, whatnot fifteen dollar credit button at CoinRingMaker.com. It's a live auction app. You'll get $15 off your first purchase. Uh, right now, I just kind of keep all the metal shavings. So these are 90% silver. These are my 10% silver. And eventually, I will melt these down into something. I just don't have a crucible at the moment. I really do need to get one. It's about time. But I'm just short on equipment. I need to get some new tools. So if you guys want to help me get some new tools, go to that whatnot button, sign up, get your $15 credit. It'll help me get some new tools, and then eventually we'll melt this down into something. That'll be cool. Yeah. Uh, if you'd like to see a coin ring made live just for you, go visit coinringmaker.com, order one, and I will make it. Uh, if anybody has any questions, feel free to put them in the chat. These are the two rings we finished on today's live. Got a 66 and a 49. Both looking really, really good. Some nice ringage right there. Heck yeah. Do, 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 do. Let's see if we can get them on a display here. Bam, bam. Perfect. What should we do next? I'm all caught up on orders and I've still got a little bit of energy. So, uh, do you guys want to see some more finished coin rings uh, that I can show you what they look like? Do you want me to just make a random coin ring? We're going to do a cowboy hat? We could do a cowboy hat. Grab a random state quarter. How about Oklahoma? Make an Oklahoma cowboy hat. That'll be fun. Cool. Find the proper toolkit for it. Get this one now. Y'all ever seen a uh, quarter made into a cowboy hat? Because you're about to. Now we'll make a ring after this cowboy hat. Uh, if anybody would like to order a ring and see it get made, head over to coinringmaker.com, place an order. Use the coupon code WELCOME to save 10%. If you don't want a coin ring but want $15 credit for a free auction app, go tap on the button that says, What not $15 credit? 
at cornerringmaker.com. So the first thing we got to do for our quarter is put it in this jig. So this is really cool. It's got some super hardened steel ring in there. That's going to help kind of direct our coin as we fold it. Here's our quarter. And we want the top of the hat to be Oklahoma. So we're going to put that face down. There's a little guide, and then we've got a ball bearing. We're going to push that ball bearing into the coin and create kind of a dome right in the middle of it. You do have to be a little careful with this step. So I push too hard, it will go through the quarter. If I don't push hard enough, the dome isn't very high. So that's not quite far enough for me. I want to go just a little further. second jig, which looks like this, we take our quarter, make sure it's nice and lined up in here, so the state is right in the middle, get this little folding jig here, <laughs> like a trench helmet, kind of, give these sides a good fold. Just like that. Got a quarter made into a cowboy hat. Yeehaw! These are available at cornerringmaker.com if you'd like to get you one. They're pretty cute. I can do these in dimes, pennies, quarters, and half dollars. Can't do Morgan dollars, though. Those are just too big. But they come out really cute. Um, got them as keychains, necklaces, or just the hats like this. You can find those at cornerringmaker.com. Yeah. All right. So I've been wearing this... What was in the tumbler? Uh, this 1949 quarter coin ring. Super shiny. So yeah, I've been wearing this Walking Liberty half dollar for about a month and a half. I think it's about time for me to make myself another ring. So, let's see what looks cool. Uh, it will. It's just noisy. So I think what I'm going to do 
is make myself a nice uh, sample Morgan dollar because this one doesn't really work for that purpose anymore. So we're gonna make this into a ring. Should be pretty cool. This one is definitely a little dirty, but it's gonna be looking real good here in about 20 minutes. First thing we gotta do is punch a hole in it. I gotta remind myself to take the uh, 1899 off the website. I, it's on the website right now. It's not really toning, it's like dirt. Like, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, this is just crud that's on here. But we'll knock that off. So this is for sale on the website right now. So if while I'm making it, you'd like to order it, ooh, let me know. The strangest request. Hmm. Now, uh, a couple of people asked me if I could like fuse like two quarter coin rings together like this. So they could have a year and a state, like that. And that's just something I currently am not able to do. But that that was a request I got. Yep. $18.99. $200 at CoinRingMaker.com if you want to get it. Here's our cool little... Center punch. Yep, eighteen ninety nine. in here real close. What we're going to do next is clean up that hole we just punched through here. You can see it's a little, a little rough. We're just going to cut away at 